All right, we got a hanging bed built. I haven't sat on it yet, so we're gonna do that. And I figured I'd film, so if I bust my ass, at least it's funny for somebody. The new world where everyone is sacred, every life accounted for. Grow your guard and find your tribe. Let your heart's burning side. All right, everybody, so I'm here in the bus today uh, working on framing. Workwares helped out and got the insulation in, I think last week, something like that. And now we just finally got the lumber for the framing. Basically, the whole point of this is to give me something to stick drywall to and something to run electrical behind. are working on drywall today for the bunker bus. Perfect. Cranking along here. Rhea got in here and did all the putty for this wall today. We're about three quarters of the way through this wall. I've just got this little section here to do, and then the front of the bus, which that's gonna be all kinds of interesting. So we've got most all of the drywall up. I'm still working on a couple of these little boxes. Gotta get this in. We've got cement board behind the stove, so I'm gonna build another little wall here just to make sure this is all nice and good and nobody's like setting cloth on a fireplace. We attempted plaster and doing this texture kind of thing and that did not work at all because it just dried way too quick and got really clumpy. I gotta figure out something else to do with that. Um, the goal for today is to get paint on the ceiling or the primer on the ceiling and then by the end of the week this place will be painted which would be really cool. All right, we got a hanging bed built. I haven't sat on it yet, so we're gonna do that. And I figured I'd film, so if I bust my ass, at least it's funny for somebody. So cables run through the roof. Let's see. I want to show you guys what we just did. This is beautiful, beyond all beautiful. Got our concrete countertop in for the desk area. So this is kind of our office desk art, whatever you want to call it, spot. A lot of learning on this, this project. So never really done live edge stuff. And this was all trees that uh, we cut down just a couple branches from the wash and sculpted it. I uh, got a really cool tool that's terrifying. 
an angle grinder with a chainsaw blade. So this thing spins like, I don't know, 20,000 rotations per minute with a razor sharp chainsaw blade. Lots of fun. And sculpted that, sculpted all these legs in, and then basically we just sealed it all up and just got this concrete cord. It's beautiful. So I gotta be patient, not touch it, walk away. And yeah, I think this is gonna be really freaking cool when it's done. Hello everybody. I wanna give you guys a wrap up of our school bus build. Still got a lot to do on this, like everything out here. It's all a work in progress. We get the outside done, get the inside functional and move on. It's been about a year and a half since we got the bus originally. We've had a ton of people through here and have been using it. It's been a great community space. It's been a great bunkhouse. It's almost got like a youth hostel feel. I feel like running the eco residency program is a lot like running a youth hostel. So let me take you on a tour, wrap this project up, move on to the next thing. Coming into the project, you can see we have done a paint job and that just kind of cleans it up a little bit, makes it look less like a junked out school bus. We've also built this stairway down. So this is all earth bag with a clay plaster. We did an earthen plaster on this and if you watched our last series, you saw I hired somebody to come out and teach us how to do plaster properly because after a year and a half, this is all, all just flaking off. We'll eventually come back and redo this, but again, a um, million projects going on, only have a certain amount of time. So you can see here our earth bags kind of poking out. We did add screens to most of the windows. Um, I found these at our local salvage yard for two bucks a piece, which was great. And then just some, I think that's called Z-channel trim on there to hold everything in place. Coming around to the back of the bus, we did some earth bag work back here just to create some retaining walls. We don't get a lot of water flowing through here because we've built up this berm, but letting the water go under the bus, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we haven't really had a whole lot of issues with it settling or anything because we did pop the tires, put it up on blocks, all that kind of stuff. So going into our bus, we have this nice stairway down to go below the ground. We originally buried the bus with the idea of it being a little bit cooler in here from a temperature standpoint and just from a, it's cool. It's cool to have a buried bus. So we walk down into here and we get into our bus. Again, work in progress, like everything. It's been a functional space and it's quite cozy. So give you guys a tour. Coming in, we do have sleeping spaces for three people. Uh, originally we had the hanging bed here. It just kept getting unlevel and weird. And so we ended up taking that down. I think before this next season, I may want to build some little bunk beds in here to kind of open up this floor space in the front and make it more of a hangout space. But this will work for now. Uh, we have our little TV set up. What's kind of cool is since we have switched to the Starlink internet system, there is a extender out here so we get good internet in here um, it's also our little office space for people who are digital nomads and working coming in the back we did end up switching the wood stove for a propane heater i found the wood stove worked well if you knew how to light it and a lot of people that came out here didn't know how to light it properly so we ended up switching it for a propane one our desk situation here which i still love how this concrete came out it almost has like a marbled look this was basically standard just three dollar bag concrete and then on the top layer i put a self-leveling coat buffed it really good it's nice and shiny put some oil on it and our trees from our wash that we stripped down stain and sealed another feature we have in here is our community clothing set so since we do a lot of dirt work um, earth bags stuff like that we have different stuff for people this is all just stuff that got kind of left I think those are my shorts actually. Um, <laughs> so stuff that people leave so that way they can not tear up their own stuff and just get stuff that's in the bus. We do have our community little library. This was some lockers I got off Facebook Marketplace and put some copper paint on. Eventually we'll be doing a stenciled copper floor um, that will look really cool. So we're kind of doing the greens and blues and coppers in here. We have 
our little game section. A weird pig thing that freaks me out. Our little bedroom in the back. This is the master suite. Uh, we do have lights back here, some outdoor lights that I found. Uh, again, thrift store. Painted, put some LED bulbs in there. Just kind of makes this a little din. What's kind of nice back here is you get the view from the outside. Everything's kind of at ground level, which is pretty cool. So that wraps up this build. It has been a fun project to work on. I'm actually really excited to get back in here and really refine it, put in trim work, make it look just spectacular in here. But we got some other projects to work on. If you guys are enjoying these video series, like, subscribe, give me a comment. Just let me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, we have a new video series coming out for you next week. Every Sunday we post and always have cool new projects to work on. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. Go build something cool.